So day two of the smoker build, um, we're going to plasma cut in the chimney uh, hole. The reason I'm not using the grinder for that, it's just a bit tight to get the grinder in there. If you've seen part one of the video, uh, we had an issue with the grinder spinning out. So we'll just do this with a plasma, it should be a little bit easier. I've drilled some pilot holes in the four corners, so that gives me a bit of work guidance to work towards. Okay, so the plan is is to actually use stuff that we've got lying around because I can't obviously go and get any more with uh, level four. So this is just old steel that's left over from the container build. So we'll be sliding that into there and then a 45 cut with a chimney up. Okay, so we're in chimney mode manufacture. So we're going to weld up our little chimney. Now I've got to swap spectacles because uh, she ain't no good welding in those ones. Got to put my Mr. Magoo's on. Okay, so we did a bit more grinding and now we've got the chimney in nice and square with the rest of the tank. So we'll tack weld that into position. Okay, so there is the... Uh, obviously the container's lying on its side, right? So we'll just let you know that. So there is the chimney. Uh, I've just got a weld across the top side just in there. Oh, that is still hot in there. Uh, because I couldn't weld up underneath the flange there and we might put a stitch along there as well okay so we've just welded a M10 nut on the top of the chimney here and I have a plate so basically what we're doing is we're just making a cover for that so that plate will sit on there uh, we'll stick a bolt down through that and then the plate will be able to swivel to allow um, venting to happen on the chimney. So because I've welded it, I always just like to clean the thread out after I have welded it. Just to make sure I've got no slag or anything down there. So generally not a problem. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So the thread on that's all nice and clean. So that bolt's welded in there. Okay, so there's the dampener. Uh, can swing around and cover the cover the chimney. Decided that it's time to actually just tack these together um, so that I can actually break it off later. But I need to have a look at some stuff. Doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. Break them off. I think we're going to have to do some more cutting. It's just not quite fitting as good as I want it. So, a bit more cutting on that seam, I think. So we'll do that. Alrighty, we're still trying to get this right. This joint is proving problematic, so... Shit's about to get serious. We've got the... Plasma out.
Okay. So we've got an old hinge, well it's a new but old as in it's been sitting in the shed for quite some time hinge here that we're going to use for the firebox. So I've marked it up, we're just going to tack it in place with a couple of short tacks, see how the door goes. I think I'm going to have to trim some of the side off the door here. Because uh, when we plasma cut out the remainder of that box which you saw, um, everything sort of moved in a little bit. So um, we'll just tack this in, see how we go. Earth's on, we've got a lowish voltage. See if everything stays there. Okay, that's perfect. Really pleased with that. Uh, do we want the fire door to go back a bit? We could probably grind that if we need to. But that closes up quite nicely. Okay, as I've said before, we're in lockdown level 4 in uh, Auckland, New Zealand at the moment. Uh, so I'm making do with what I've got. So I've got a barbecue plate here, an old barbecue plate, and um, I'm not sure if you can actually plasma cut these out, but we'll give it a go. So I'm going to plasma cut that out to fit into the end of the tank there. And how I did that was I've made, a, made and cut a bit of a template out of cardboard. Okay, there we are with the two plates in. Let's throw a bit of light in there for you. So that left hand plate just in there is the one that we just cut out. So you can see that she's all in there. A little bit of smoke can come up from the smoke chamber there. Just contemplating I might add some rails in there so that the plates actually sit on those. So I'll weld some angle iron in there. Okay, so the plates are in. We've welded a couple of little um, angles in here that the plates can sit on. A couple of angle irons in there. We're in the process of putting some hinges on. Uh, what I actually have is Some weld on gudgeon pin hinges. So these farm gates generally you weld that onto your gate, weld that onto something else, and they go like that. So uh, had these, had a few of those. So I'm actually adapting those to sit on the lid, and we'll just have a tack and see how we go. Uh, did one tack, didn't like it, removed it, had another go. So um, yep. We'll just see how this one goes. So yeah, let's tack those in. Okay. 
Oh yes. <laughs> Dick. I have to cut those off because I've got these bloody tabs here. What a cocksucker. Okay, that works good.